G'day everybody, it's Kim from Kim's Homestead and I'm bringing to you another video of what's to eat. So I hope you sit back and enjoy it and I'll catch you at the end of the, the, end of the video. Well, here we are Wednesday and we're having breakfast for dinner. It's just egg, sausage and toast. Very simple. Well, there we go guys. It's been a very busy day and I'm tired tonight. So it's nothing real elaborate as you see. Just a chop and a couple of eggs. And I may have a few slices of watermelon later on for tea. I mean for sweets. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Well, today is Friday and I'm making fresh bread for the week. On the left hand side, I have a couple of bread rolls. On the right hand side is bread for the, for the week. This is just before going into the oven and they should turn out pretty good. And there we go, basted with a little bit of milk, topped with sesame seeds and poppy seeds. And I'll show you again when they come out of the oven. G'day folks. Today is still Friday and I'm going to be making my version of takeaway hamburger for tea tonight. Uh, so I'll put you down for a second and show you what I'm doing. Right, so in this container I have about 250 grams of minced meat. I have about half a teaspoon of garlic, half of a red onion that's been chopped, uh, about a tablespoon of tomato sauce and half a cup of the seasoned stuffing mix and to that I'm going to add a little bit of um, the Himalayan pink salt, a little bit of ground black pepper, the fine stuff. I don't like finding great big chunks of pepper in the hamburger. And one egg fresh from the chooks, chook poo and all. <laughs> Right, so now I've just got to get a spoon or a fork and mash it all up. I think we'll get a fork.
Okay, I think what I'll do is get some hamburger helper and uh, let it help me. Right, so here we are. We have the hamburger helper. And I think I'll just sprinkle some in. Okay, that's probably about two tablespoons. Okay, so what I will do, I've got a little while before tea needs to be cooked, so I will just let this sit for a little while and let it uh, moisten up the seasoned stuffing mix and the hamburger helper, and that way it will help glue it all up together so it doesn't crumble apart. So I'll just put a lid over that. In the meantime, I think my bread is ready to come out of the oven. So I'll put you on hold for a minute and take it out and then give you a look. And here is our bread. Beautiful loaves. You can always tell because they sound hollow. Lovely. Now I won't take them out of them just now. Um, I'll let them sit in there till they're a little bit cooler and uh, then I'll take them out, put them on the wooden board here and throw a tea towel over the top. And uh, these ones aren't for the hamburgers tonight. This is for um, I think I'll have egg and lettuce rolls tomorrow for lunch and this one's just for general toast and sandwiches and whatever through the week. So there's our bread guys and um, I'll catch you very shortly when I start making the um, hamburgers have with me a shop bought hamburger or hamburger bun nice bun and here is the ones I just made Bit of a difference there. <laughs> I know which ones I'm going to prefer, but still, those ones are for dinner tomorrow. Now, what I will do is I'm going to uh, slightly toast this one and on the stove I found some bacon so I'm going to have some bacon and burger and egg and homemade homegrown lettuce so I'll get back to you when I'm putting the burgers on the grill And here we go, ready to cook. Now these are going to make fairly large burgers.
So I just shape them up and around. Here I have special burger sauce and these are the toasted burgers. And get some tomato sauce. the bottom Here's our bacon. Here's our burger. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful thing? Now my guest for tea tonight said they wanted some chips with this. Ha <laughs> ha. They're not getting any. Because I don't think they're going to be able to eat it. There's a lot here. There we go. I'll wrap this back up. Put it back in here. And back in the fridge. them little sandwich skewers to keep it in all in place.
And there we go. Mm -mm -mm. Hamburger. A la Kim's Homestead style. <laughs> and we shall enjoy. I'll have this with a, a little glass of white grape juice. And that will be it for tomorrow night. And I've still got two burgers there for tea tomorrow night. Catch you then. And here we go. Saturday lunchtime. And here's the bread rolls that I made. All with homegrown lettuce and eggs. Egg, nice. And a glass of juice to go with it. Wash it all down. They turned out pretty good.